Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Nevada, Texas at Thompson Motorsports. I'm joined by owner Kyle Thompson. And between us here is a supercharged 427 LS and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Kyle, good to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having us in. Yeah, appreciate you coming. You know, we just got done uh, seeing the shop and taking a tour, and it was awesome. It was everything I expected it to be. And, Fantastic. You know, you were telling us during the tour that this is a newer setup for you guys yeah. uh, with the supercharged 427 LS, and you guys are going to be offering it in a couple of different horsepower levels. Yeah, we sure are. So, you know, I'd love to know a little bit more about the development of it and, uh, and what all you got in it. Yeah, so, you know, we, uh, we're primarily building short blocks and long blocks, but we do have people requesting turnkeys more and more regularly. Um, as we've built a lot of these packages, we've really figured out these combos that work just perfect. Um, some of the things that I really like about the LS is they can be so tame and so gentle on parts and you can still see so much performance out of them. Sure. So it really is a great mix if you've got, you know, that, that classic that you want to do a swap to or even something modern that you just want to get more power out of. So this one started as our 427. Uh, we've got our 427 package, which is our SHP Eliminator and Outlaw is our most popular. That's going to be our uh, 1300, 1500, and 1800 horse rated. That's what these are based off of. And then the packages will step uh, depending on the amount of boost and what it is we're looking to do with them. So this particular package is our 1000 horse package. The idea here is that it can be 100% daily driven on pump gas, um, 427 cubic inches. It's got a Frankenstein M311 head on it. We use a Cowley's center counterweighted crankshaft, Cowley's uh, H beam, uh, they've got a, a newer H, uh, well, heavy duty rod that we're using in it and CP pistons. Yeah. Um, the Whipple supercharger on it and then Wegner front accessory drive. We do everything in black just to give it that good aggressive look. Um, and again, pump gas, you know, you can remote start this. It'll work with AC on it. Matter of fact, this one that we have here has AC. Yeah. Um, and we created this package with the idea of being able to get something that shows up in a crate. You can put it in a car and drive it. Thousand horsepower with a warranty under 30,000 for the whole thing. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Definitely something that a lot of people are looking for. Right? Yeah, no, I, I think it's going to be a really neat package. Um, we're going to release this as the thousand right behind you. We've got the twin turbo that we're yep. outfitting right now. It's going to be a really similar package to it. Um, the blower we're going to offer in a thousand, 1250 and 1500 horse. The now, as we get to the higher horsepower packages, we do have different fueling requirements. So I will say that we're, okay. we're not doing a 1500 horse pump gas with it. Mm -hmm. um, on the turbo motor, we're going to have it in a 1,000, 1250, 1500, 1750, and 2000 horse. So as those step up, we're going to move from um, intercooled, some that are non-intercooled, some that are going to be, you know, pump gas, and then all the way up to like methanol builds. Okay. Um, but all of them in, you know, really good known, tested, operational drop it in and go packages. We've got tunes ready for them where you can drop a tune in it and go. Yeah. And you mentioned that, you know, it's very streetable at, at those uh, 1,000, 1,200 horsepower levels. Um, this can pretty much go into any application though, correct? Yeah, it really can. Um, you know, the operating systems now are really able to watch these in a way that you couldn't in the past. So we can get it to treat it like a 400 horse motor when you're driving around and then treat it like the thousand or 1200 horse or whatever it is yeah. once it comes under boost um we don't need a lot of camshaft to them you know that's a lot of what was hurting in the past is you're having to get so aggressive with a camshaft that we've got a stall that's so big you're overheating transmissions or it's just uncomfortable to drive we really aren't running into that anymore you know this is something that starts and drives very smooth very easy we actually we have run into it where we will build and the customer wants more aggressive of a camshaft for the sound, you know, and, and that's all it is. We can back it down so much that we've got people wanting more chop out of them. Yeah. We can do that as well. Um, but it's interesting to have hit a point in technology that it's going that way. You know, it used to be everyone was begging for something that could be driven because you had to get so aggressive to get the power. We just don't have to do that anymore. Right, right, for sure. 
So Kyle, you mentioned this is a thousand horsepower package. Um, you know, specifically what kind of blower do you have on there? It's a Whipple uh, and, and we use the Whipple for our kits. Really great fitment. They're pretty low profile. Um, this one sits a little higher than what we do on a lot of them. We can actually offer it with a new 2.9. Uh, that's a little newer, more low profile blower that's going to sit down and allow for more hood clearance as well. Um, and then we've got them with packages all the way up to the new four or five that's going to sit even bigger than this with that really big, right. that big aggressive blower look. Right. And then you also mentioned a lot of the, the bottom end stuff and the Frankenstein heads. How about some of the valve train? And, and you mentioned the ability to have different cams in there. But sure specifically for this one? Yeah, so cam motion cuts all of our camshafts. Um, we've got several different stages of camshaft that we use based on the power output and the use. Um, obviously very different from a turbo build to a blower build uh, or even a centrifugal. Um, so we'll cut the cam based on the customer's needs and the power requested out of it. Um, valve train is simple on these. You know, we're back to being really easy. You don't have to do solid roller builds with adjustable rockers. Uh, we've got our Thompson Motorsports rocker on it, which is a Trunnion upgraded with a big bodied, uh, just a standard stock style rocker. Um, lifters, we can do anything from our TMS lifters. Same, it's an LS7 style lifter. We use that in our thousand horse package. Um, as you get to the 15, 1750 and 2000, we'll get into some link bars and some uh, more heavy duty lifters, but we just don't have to in a lot of these packages, which again is really nice. We've got a lifter that, isn't going to be as chattery. It isn't going to be as uh, aggressive in some of the lower level packages to, again, give you that street ability and that versatility. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. Kyle, anything else about the supercharged uh, 427 LS here? Or that pretty much covers it. Yeah, no, it, it's just a great drop in and go motor. Um, you know, it's something that I feel like the look of it, it, it has the look of that million dollar motor with a great price tag. So it's something that becomes a lot more affordable to go into some of these super high end builds. Um, and, and it just is a fun, easy motor. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Kyle, we appreciate you telling us about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, Guys, that's been this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Kyle has going on here at Thompson Motorsports. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.